Welcome to another episode of, <clears throat> excuse me, Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack, and this is another video tutorial of Photoshop Elements. In this video tutorial, I thought I would talk to you a little bit about layer styles. We went over before on how to create layers and what layers are, and we've even played with some layers, but I never actually explained to you what a layer style is. To demonstrate the layer styles, we're going to do uh, what's called a layer overlay. And to do an overlay, we're going to use a uh, free texture. And I happen to find a website for you called uh, PhotoshopTextures.com. You can see here it says Free Photoshop Textures. Now these textures are laid out in um, different uh, styles. Here's wall textures. Uh, there's fabric textures. And if you open up one of these textures, you're going to see that any one of these, you can actually download these. If you just uh, click once on it, it'll open the texture up. Then left click on it, and you can do a save image as. It'll give you a name, Wicker Cheer Texture. Okay. We're going to go under My Documents and then My Pictures. I actually created in My Pictures a place to hold my textures. And I created a folder in here called Textures. Then just click Save. And that's simply how you download a texture. Texture. <laughs> it's a tongue twister here. Okay. Now we have our texture downloaded, and it's in uh, under my pictures folder, so we're good to go there. So that's where it's at. I'll put a link to uh, in the YouTube show notes for this, so you can uh, find it easily. We are now going to uh, go into our organizer. This is new files have been found in the watched folders. Click yes to import it. There it is. Click OK, and here's the new texture that we just imported. And what I did to make these easy to find was I created a new album called Textures. Let's go back to that one here, go back to the last six months to find that new one. Right here's the new one. We're going to simply take this album, pull it over here so we can add that to our Textures album. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up a picture in the editor and we're going to apply this texture as an overlay. So this is an overlay layer. So let's simply go down here. Actually what I wanted to do was uh, go into my albums. It's a little easier to find. We're going to use my forest pictures here. Uh, let's scroll down here a little bit. I actually uh, have one to play with. Let's see here. We're going to actually use this one right here. We'll use this picture. We'll right click on it. We're going to open up in the full editor. And uh, we're going to go ahead and click on view, fit the screen. And here we got it now. Now, what we need to do is we also need to open up the texture we want to use in the editor. So go back to your organizer. Let's go back up here and we'll click on the texture album. That's why this is important to have these in album so you can find everything quickly. And we'll go ahead and play with the new wicker one. It's right here. This is the newest one we added. Go ahead and right click on that and open that in your full editor. Now, as you can see, they opened up its own background. Now, this picture is its own background and the texture is its own background. All you have to do is go to select. Sorry about that. If you caught that, that was a phone ringing. Yeah, a little embarrassing uh, in the middle of a video, but people don't know if you're creating videos or not. So what we're going to do now at this point, we have the texture we want to use. We click on select, select all. All you got to do now is left click it and drag it on top of the other picture and leave it go. Here it is. And what happens at that point is it creates a new layer with our background that we want to use. Then we can click on this picture, we can actually close it. We don't need that any longer. I would also suggest to click on this and to duplicate that. Or another trick is if it's highlighted or if it's clicked on, you can use Control J on a Mac or Command J, I mean Control J on a PC or Command J on a Mac. I'm sorry, I should know that. I also use a Mac, you know, for editing. Once we do this, 
we want to take these uh, take this layer and we have to stretch it over top of this picture so we can use it as an overlay so we're going to pull this out pull it that way pull it this way and see these aren't the greatest I guess you can buy these online uh, and get some better uh, resolutions you can see where the resolution is not that great once we pulled out kind of pixelates once you do that be sure it's overlapping the picture here there we go and on the top I can see a little bit of picture left there we go then click the check box that's going to lock it in for you now what we want to do is we want to experiment with uh, layers different layer styles and to do this we use this pull down menu which actually slides up and we're going to show you now how to add a texture to that picture just by simply changing the layer style to overlay and there you go now you see you have a texture on top of that picture it almost looks like it was woven like it was a carpet uh, maybe a picture with a carpet or something now, there's a lot of different uh, layer styles and I wanted to go through these very uh, quickly with you um, you can use any one of these down here this dissolve and normal pretty much as you can see is the same thing you're going to cover everything up but if we go to darken you get a different style go to multiply a different style and any one of these when you're on your layer you can actually drop your opacity down and make it look a little different you get different ways of doing things here color burn That'll give you some different uh, burnt in color. Linear burn. The trick is when you're doing these, you can actually play around with these and see what different settings are. Lighten. Looks like some kind of a log cabin going on there. I don't know. Screen. Color dodge. Linear dodge add. Lighter we've seen the overlay there's a soft light hard light as you can see each one of these overlay styles or uh, layer styles will actually give you a different uh, effect on your overall picture a difference difference is kind of unusual because you're getting different colors laid in there you could bring this out Bring the opacity back up to 100. Go down to hue. Again, just a different uh, style. Saturation. Color. And luminosity. Let's go back to overlay. Now with overlay, I just wanted to show you really quickly. You can, like I said, drop the opacity down a little bit to make it look more realistic or we can leave it higher and if it looks like it's a little darkened and you want to highlight or light up some of this to light remember to lighten only the one layer what you want to do is go in here and we want to adjust the levels now if we adjust this level now watch what happens it bright we can actually brighten out the whole picture okay remember the other day I showed you a video and what you would do here is on the PC hit control G or on a Mac hit the command G what that does it links it with the layer directly under it now if we double click this we can adjust the lighting of just that particular layer as you can see we're not going underlying it's all the way up where it was before and it was all white so we can actually adjust that lighting so that's how you actually take care of doing a, a layer overlay. Uh, this was an overlay. Layer overlay. Oh, wait, we wanted this to be normal. I'm sorry. This is our overlay layer. And like I said, play around with these. It's worth taking some time to play. Uh, if you get a chance, jump over to jackstechcorner.com. Uh, you'll see that I've released a new DVD. Um, it's a great stocking stuffer, or it's a great way for you to learn more about Photoshop Elements. Um, it has a lot of great tutorials in there, and you'll have a, a ton of fun with it. And um, 
spend a lot of time learning uh, more about Photoshop elements in a much higher resolution than what YouTube uh, offers you. So it's worth your time. Take a look um, for $15. I think it's a pretty good buy. So until next time, keep the comments coming and keep emailing me. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, a lot of you email me or send me in your questions. I'll see you back here very soon. Keep those camera shutters clicking and keep the editor editing. I will talk to you very soon. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.